Right, good afternoon and welcome to Facebook Live where today we are going to be making some butternut squash chips. Yes, butternut squash chips are on the menu today in the kitchen. Uh, now I go, my WW coach, which is Diane Allen, gave this suggestion today. And the most important thing is the preparation. Because as you know, for those my avid followers of my videos, I have eaten and prepared one of these butternut squash things before, quite unsuccessfully. Okay, so thanks to Diane who is watching, I will be sharing you Diane's big tip today, how to make this in a nice, fast way. So this was, I think it was 95p in Aldi at the moment, which I thought was a bargain. So this is a butternut squash. Uh, and as you know, this is a zero point food, zero, zero, zero hero. So we're gonna make chips out of this. And this is exactly how to do it. Now Diane's main tip, which I thought was great was, that whole area, the fat bottom, one of, one of Diane's members said, uh, is it them things that look like a pear? <laughs> I guess in a weird way it does look like a pear, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, um, so the secret is, this, this bit in here is the nasty bit that's filled with all the seeds. So what we're gonna do is the fat bit at the bottom, we're gonna cut that. We are a little bit shiny. We're gonna cut that straight off. Okay, so you can see that is the seeded bit. Um, now, although it looks like I'm wasting quite a lot there, actually those seeds actually hollow out a lot as well. So don't worry about that. If you, you know, you've got an animal or something that can eat that, then fine. But as we said, if you want to do it quick and simple, then uh, that's the way to do it. I'm just going to take another layer off. Obviously, if you're making a soup, you could use the ends for that. But as I said, we're just making the fast version. Now, I'm going to cut the other end off. Make sure you've got a big sharp knife, okay? So I will discard that bit. So, then I have my butternut squash area. Now, this is where Diane would say, and my mum would also take off the skin. But obviously when you take the, a lot of the skin off, uh, you're not left with many chips. So I'm gonna leave it on because I, I will be doing some with skin and some without skin. So what I'm then gonna do without, <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand up for this, aren't I? Okay, health and safety reason, I should stand. All I'm gonna do is make the chip shape. This is why Jamie Oliver doesn't make his videos sitting. Because it's hard to sit and cut. You need to use your body weight in a positive way. Ta -da. And then when you've done the heavy cutting, you can sit down again. Oh, Diane's left a comment there. Uh, sharp bread knife is better. Right, Diane, I have got a sharp bread knife, so let me just grab that. I think I have anyway. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. So I'm exchanging the knife for the bread knife. And then I'm gonna cut. So you can see I've just made it into slices. And then what I'm doing, oh God, are you sure diet? <laughs> Maybe you just mean the, the big cutting bit. Oh, I do like the way it's got like um, thingy chips. You know those um, thing, uh, crinkle cut. Right, let me just try the other one. <laughs> See, oh, I think, Diane, I think it's my knife. I don't think my bread knife's sharp enough because it wasn't doing anything. Um, so, they, then just slice them up. So they're like chips, you see? Now, as I said earlier, you can leave the skin on if you want to. My mum prefers them without. Um, so what I'm doing is, because I don't mind them, I actually quite like it. 
I know a lot of uh, restaurants and things are doing chips now with skins on. So what I'm doing is, like this piece on the middle, I'm doing those edges. And then I have some chips that I'm going to cook with the skin on, which I'll have. And then for my mum, I've got these pieces without any skin. And I'm just going to put them like this. I'm just going to get them all done. So I want you to see how many chips you get for your pound of butternut squash. Okay. So I now have, if anybody likes my chopping board, you get two of these for a pound from Ikea. So this is now my butternut squash chips ready to be cooked. So then I get my frying pan. Because we are making the zero point version, I'm using just fry light. Obviously, if you are health conscious, uh, I would recommend using a couple of points um, and using some real oil to have some nice, you know, some olive oil, some rapeseed oil, you know, so again, it's going to add, not only add a good taste, but also nutritionally and beneficially for your body, it's good to have a little bit of good oil in your body. So, I've used fry light and I've just sprayed that on there, you see, and then I'm going to pop my chips in the tray. Now earlier when I cooked them, because you'll be pleased to know you're not going to have to wait 30 minutes because I have pre-cooked some already. This is my second sitting. So I'm just going to pop these in. And obviously then what I would do, when they're all in, I've got about another double as well, I would then re-spray the top. And I would bake that in the oven, um, 200 degrees to 220. Uh, I think because obviously it's quite hard, I would go for the 200 degrees. Um, and I would bake them for between 30 and 40 minutes, obviously, until they are chip-like. Uh, Diane is saying chili flakes had a nice flavor. Yes, great, Diane. That is a good idea. So when they come out, ready for this? This is the big ta-da moment. This is what my came out like. Ta-da! So you can see, these are the ones that didn't have the um, that didn't have the skin on. Can you see? And these are the one that did have the skin on. Now I actually preferred the ones with the skin. So I'm just going to do a bit of salt and pepper. Bit of pepper. Oh yeah, I really fancy chili flakes. Now you've said that, Diane. Okay, so a bit of salt and pepper. I like to come close when I'm eating. <laughs> so this is the one without the skin. Now straight away, I think sweet potato. It almost tastes exactly the same as sweet potato, but zero points. And obviously if you're counting calories, it's a lot less calories as well. So that was the ones without skins and ones with skins. I'm not going to lie. It is tough. And if you don't like things getting stuck in your teeth, <laughs> you probably won't like those. But I actually really like them because they've got like, you know, some umph to them. I really like those. So thanks to Diane Allen. That was my video today. The zero point, uh, I nearly said sweet potato, butternut squash chips. As I said, the extras that we had left over, you could use them in a soup or a stew or whatever. And Diane says, She's glad I was listening this morning. <laughs> when I'm playing on my phone in the class, I'm often writing things down, you know. Right, guys, uh, for more of my videos, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now. Bye.